Welcome back to The Good News. I'm your host, Scott Oliver, and I'm happy to announce that we have had three new men accepted into the ministry yesterday. So y'all please pray for them and their families as they start this new journey here at the ministry. We are doing big things here at the ministry with the body shop. The body shop expansion has been going on and it is in the dry. All the metal is up and we are about to install the roll up doors. Here's Todd and Minner with more details on that. Welcome Facebook uh, followers of John 316 Ministry Body Shop page. Uh, we'd like to uh, say that we have met the deadline for this weekend. It is in the dry. We just have a few pieces of trim and overhead door to install. Uh, it'll move along really quickly. Uh, next week, Body Shops will start on assembling the paint booth and everything that uh, entails with that, that uh, kids spot. Um, help make that happen. Uh, all the supporters, uh, we just are so appreciative and thankful for that. So many guys are going to come to know Jesus and the future expansion of this building. And we're just uh, just thankful to be a part of it. Uh, thankful for you guys to be a part of it. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have happened without your help. Uh, so we just greatly appreciate that and just stay tuned. Looking forward to uh, new things that are just going to be added to the body shop. New things Carpentry could help do that. Um, just working in unity and working together. Carpentry has done such a great job uh, this week to make this happen. Uh, worked in the rain. You know, we had some things going on here in camp where they had to be pulled off to, to be used for that, and they still got it done. Um, getting in the dry was uh, a goal uh, set for us, uh, set for next week. So next week we'll start assembling the booth. We'll start uh, framing in the offices and the bathrooms and all that stuff. I um, want to say thank you to all the supporters who helped make this uh, possible. Brian and Michelle Chapman with Homer Skelton. Um, thank you for doing this building for us. Uh, it's really uh, something that's going to benefit the kingdom of God here on, at uh, John 316. I want to thank uh, Kid Spot for the paint booth. Um, we're excited about getting that thing started and getting rolling. And, and I just want to thank all of our viewers for liking and sharing these videos. Uh, keep watching because you're going to get to see the paint booth go up next week. want to thank everybody. Here in the studio joining me today is my good friend AJ. How about it AJ? How's it going all? It's going great. Yeah, I just stopped in today to talk a little bit about the auction with you and just say thank you. Uh, we had a great and successful auction at Community Fest, a live auction outdoors, the equipment, cars and trucks. Um, and none of that would be possible without our supporters. Uh, we just like to thank all of our buyers and all the people that donated items to the auction to make that possible. We're going to continue to grow this. We had over 100 items um, and all around 50 buyers from five different states represented here. And we just, uh, you know, with Christ, things continue to be on the increase and they continue to grow. Um, and that's what we're going to do with the auction here um, at John 316 Ministries. So um, be keeping it on your minds, mark it on your calendar. Our next big outdoor um, equipment and car auction will be uh, this coming spring of 2023. So we look forward to seeing y'all uh, there and we thank you for all that you do. Amen. Thank y'all. And in closing, if you have any praise reports or any prayer requests, make sure to drop them in the comments below. But I'd also like to lift up the name of Jesus today. If y'all were at the service yesterday and saw the video on how the camps changed over the years, it's such a wonderful thing seeing how God's worked through this ministry, touching men's lives every day, the restoration, the love, the, the peace that these men feel when they once had none. It is incredible. Bringing you the good news, it's your host, Scott Oliver. Have a good afternoon.